I'm really excited. I've been wanting to talk to this lady for a long time. It's Arlene Dickinson, everyone. Yeah. about this book, and there's so many business books out there on the market, but this one, Arlene, is all about the mental game. Right. When, it, when it comes to being an entrepreneur, and that's not a topic that is often written about. So there are so many people across the country that are so interested in your story. I want to know, for the people sitting at home thinking, well, is 2014 going to be the year that I break out on my own? Did you always know that you were supposed to be working for yourself? No, in fact, I until I got fired a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it and, happens. And, you know, I know it happens. Um, I, I really didn't. I, it wasn't until I actually found myself in a place where I had to do something on my own that I actually found that I wanted to do something on my own. So right. It really was a, a chance happenstance for me, but I think it's always been inside of me. I believe that. So do you think, for the folks who are at home right now, do you think that they either are an entrepreneur or they are not? I think you either have it in you or you don't. Okay. I, think you, I think you can help people find it if it's there, but if it's not there, I don't think you can make it. I think we're wired a bit differently. Some people might say not, you know, like not normal, but you know, I don't think so. I think we're pretty normal. What was cool is that you said you were the kid that was always, yeah, but why? Yeah, but why? Yeah. And, you know, I guess people at home need to start thinking about, are you in a situation at work all the time where they're telling you it's not a good fit? Are you constantly challenging authority? Are you constantly, you know, asking for more explanations, trying to do things on your own, trying right. to make things better? to the point where it's not working to have you in a certain hierarchy. Right. These are your clues, right? Those are the clues. You know, if you're always if you're always trying to find different ways to do things. I mean, there you can be entrepreneurial in the context of an organization. You can be an entrepreneur. Um, but I think when you really want true independence, when you really are ready to kind of put it all on the line and control your own life and have that spirit, I think that's when you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know. Now, in the book, it talks about how tough the journey can be when you're on your own. It can be lonely, you can feel misunderstood, uh, you can feel like a fraud. I'm not an entrepreneur, but I actually learned a lot from this when you say things like there's no such thing as a, a work-life balance, which yeah. I believe. Yeah. Why do you believe that? You know, well, I, I grew up in an era, I guess, when I was reading magazines all the time, and you'd open it up, and it would be this perfect life, and the perfect woman who did, you know, had the perfect everything, and I thought, why am I not getting there? What is it? And then I realized that balance is such a personal thing, and I actually was balanced, but it just wasn't somebody else's picture of balance. Mm -hmm. And we have to find that for ourselves. So I, I really hate this notion that balance, which, which actually implies 50-50. There's no such thing. I mean, and when you're an entrepreneur in particular, I think, you know, no matter what you do, you have to kind of let it, your life become whole and not about half my time here, half my time there. So get rid of the guilt. And if there are some days when you're on that Blackberry or you're on that iPhone and right. the kids are buzzing around you, be okay with it. I be mean, okay. I thought that was really nice for giving yeah. advice. Yeah. You know, I, I'd say be in the moment. We hear yeah. that a lot, but actually the best lesson I have for anybody is when you're doing something and you're feeling huge stress and it's like everyone's coming at you and everyone has demands on you, the best thing you can do is kind of focus on exactly what's in front of you, not what's all around you, because otherwise you lose the moment and mm -hmm. you aren't uh, effective anywhere. So I think that's the best thing I can do, you know, when I find myself with competing interests and competing things, I just go, okay, what am I doing right now? How can I take control of this moment? What, uh, what lessons do you think that the non-entrepreneurs out there can learn from your book? Um, well, if you're married to one, or you live with one, or you're you know, related to one, I can give you some advice on how to have a relationship <laughs> with one, which is actually an important part of the book. Um, I think it also helps you understand what you need if you're thinking about it, whether or not you really do have it in you. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people contemplating, well, I think I would like to have a business, but what we're going to do through the book is help you determine whether or not you actually do have it in you. Okay, so I'm married to one. What okay. do I need to know? <laughs> I would like to stay married to him. Yes. What do I need to know? Um, um, you need to know that he really does think he's doing it for you. Really? Yeah, yes, he does. Okay. He does. And you need to know that he is he is actually thinking about changing um, the world around him in a, a good way. And it's not that you aren't important. He just sometimes is oblivious to other people's needs. And it's okay to just tell him, you know what? 
I have an opinion and a life here too, and we need to talk about it. I think the best way when you're living with an entrepreneur is to have a discussion. Talk about it more and more and more, because the more they hear it, the more they'll understand it. Because at work, what they do all day is they solve things. You know, yeah. when you're an entrepreneur, you're always in charge. You're always, you know, making the decisions. You come home and you just want to say, you know what, like, let's talk about this, and he's giving you a solution, I bet you, right? Yeah, oh yeah. gosh, Here's what we're going to do, and you're going, oh. I have an opinion. Just wanted to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the passion that you know drives, so that's yeah. interesting. Um, the last thing is for those people in 2014 that are really trying to pursue their dreams, yeah. what advice do you have for them? You know, and just sort of getting out of their own way and really going for what they want. What are the first steps? Um, buy the book. Yeah. <laughs> buy all in. Number one. Step off. Uh, <laughs> It'll tell you, it'll give you, it is a primer on whether or not you have it in you and be ready for it. If you really want to do this, you have to be, um, it's like a marathon. You have to train for it. You have to be emotionally ready. You have to be financially prepared. You have to understand it's going to take twice as long. It's going to be more tiring and more difficult than you can imagine, mm -hmm. but you can't imagine not doing it. And when you're there, when you can't imagine not doing it, that's when you have to do it. And, you know, and then I would also say, you know, I've got a free site called U Inc, which is all about a community of oh, helping right. other entrepreneurs. So join there. It doesn't cost anything. And listen to what other entrepreneurs have to say. Man, the numbers skyrocketed for U Inc almost instantly. Yes. So good for you. Because the you. business ventures just keep coming and coming. I think it's really refreshing Thank for you. us to see that it never, you are always in a position where you feel vulnerable. And I think it's nice to know that. So it's yeah. not like you ever feel like you've got all the answers. You're yeah. always going through this thing, but you go through it because it's your passion. Right. And this is the journey you're supposed to be on. So thanks for uh, sharing with us some of your wisdom. Thank you That's so great. much. That's yeah. really kind of you to Good say. Good to chat with yeah, you. Nice to chat with you. So after the show, uh, we are going to be drawing for copies of this really important book. It's Arlene's book, All In. So enjoy that if you've got one.